Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope everybody's doing well. hope everybody's safe. Being stuck in the house is no fun, but it gives us an opportunity to um, learn some new things and keep up with old things and keep learning new things. So today we're going to be discussing the FOIL method. What is the FOIL method? The FOIL method allows us to multiply two binomials, such as A plus B multiplied by C plus D. This is a binomial because it has two terms, A plus B, and is separated by a plus or minus. Similarly, C plus D is also a binomial. So what does FOIL mean? FOIL stands for first, F, O stands for outside, And I stands for inner. And finally, L stands for last. So we have F-O-I-L, FOIL. Let us look at an example. Suppose I want to multiply A plus B and C plus D. FOIL tells us that we first multiply A and C. This gives us the F part first. Next, we multiply A and D. That is the outer part or outside part. Next, we multiply B and C, which gives us the I part. And finally, we multiply B and D which gives us the L part. This gives us FOIL. So let's see how this works. We multiply A and C first, that gives us A times C. Then we move on to the outer part, A times D. A times D, but both are have plus signs, so we say plus AD. Next, we move to the inner part, B times C. That is also a plus B times C. And finally, we move to the last part, B times D plus B times D. And this gives us FOIL. Let us consider another example. 3x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2. So the first step is to multiply 3x by x. So this equals 3x times x plus. Then we move on to the outside, which is 3x times 2. Then we move on to the inside, which is plus 1 times x. And finally, we move on to the last, which is just 1 times 2. So the first part gives us 3x times x is 3x squared plus the second part, or outside, gives us 3x times 2, which is 6x plus the inside gives us 1 times x, which is just x. And finally, the last part is 1 times 2, which is just 2. Grouping that up, we get 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. Let us look at another example. Suppose I had a similar example to the previous one, but the second term is x minus 2 instead of x plus 2. So let us proceed. We first multiply 3x times x. That gives us the f part. So 3x times x. Then we do the outside, which is 3x multiplied by 2. However, this is 3x multiplied by minus 2. So it's going to be minus 3x times 2. 
Then we have the inside, which is 1 times x, and they're both positive, plus 1 times plus x, so it's going to be plus x. And then finally, we have the last term, which is 1 times minus 2, which is minus 2. So continuing, we have 3x times x is, again, 3x squared. The second term is minus 3x times 2 is minus 6x. Then we have the other term, which is plus x, and finally we have minus 2. Simplifying, we have 3x squared minus 6x plus x is minus 5x and then finally minus 2. So you can see how adding a minus sign in the last term here will add a minus here in the outside term and then a minus here in the last term. Another example, suppose I had x minus 1 times x plus 1 and I wanted to apply the FOIL method to simplify this or to expand this. So we start x times x is x squared. Then I do the outside and it's x times plus 1, so it's plus x then I do the inside, minus 1 times x is minus x, and then I do the last, which is minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Simplifying this, you get x squared, you have plus x minus x, this becomes 0, they cancel, and then finally you have minus 1. So this is x squared minus 1. In general, if you have x plus a multiplied by x minus a, this is going to be x squared minus a squared. So if you had x plus 2 multiplied by x minus 2, this is just x squared minus 4. Or if I had x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 3, this is x squared minus 9. So the inner term gets cancelled. Suppose I had minus x plus 1 half multiplied by 2x plus 4. Now this looks a little bit more complicated because of the fraction and I have a 2 in front of the x. But no worries, let us apply the FOIL method. We multiply minus x times 2x first, minus x times 2x. Then we proceed with the outside, where we get minus x multiplied by 4, And let us do the inside, plus a half times 2x. And then finally, the last is 1 half multiplied by 4, plus 1 half multiplied by 4. This equals minus x times 2x is minus 2x squared. The outside is minus x times 4, which is minus 4x. The inside is 1 half times 2x is just x. And then the last is a half times 4, which is just 2. So simplifying this, we have minus 2x squared minus 4x plus x is minus 3x and plus 2. 
I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please click like, subscribe, comment below. And again, remember, please stay safe. And I urge you all to use this opportunity to learn as much as possible online. There's a lot of great resources, as I mentioned in the previous video. Take care. Bye-bye.